Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, why has it been why has it been a while since your person last contacted you or communicated with you? Why has it been a while since your person last contacted you or communicated with you? All right, so obviously this um, this reading is not going to be for all of you Virgos. This reading is only for you Virgos who are in this particular situation. And also those of you Virgos who are interested in finding out why, this, why, why your person hasn't been talking to you. If this is something that you're wondering about and that you're curious about, then this reading is going to be for you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's see. Spirit angels and guides, why has this person, why, or why has it been a while since this person last contacted or communicated with Virgo? All right. All right, Virgo. First card we have here is the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Four of Wands in reverse, the Justice card, the Lovers, and at the bottom, the Tower. You might be dealing with a Gemini or with a Scorpio. We also have Libra here, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. All right, let me take a look here. Hmm. There is a rejection here. I'm not sure if this person feels like maybe you're the one who rejected them. I feel a little bit of a blaming energy. Yeah, it feels a little blamey. There might have been some sort of um, dramatic event, dramatic situation that happened between you two with the tower card, some sort of a dramatic or intense energy between you two, energy between you two, some sort of tension might exist between you two also. I also feel like uh, like this like this person might be thinking of wanting to apologize to you. Let me clarify that. Tell me about the page of wands. What does this person want to say to Virgo here with the page of wands? Okay, we have the page of swords. They've been watching you. What else? And the nine of wands. Oh, this person has definitely been wanting to talk to you here, but they've definitely been holding themselves back from communicating. But the desire has been there to, to have a conversation with you. They've been watching you or stalking you, following you, uh, or just heavily thinking about you here with the page of swords. Hmm. This person definitely wonders if you're single. I think they're for some of you this person's trying to figure out if you're single or if you of or if you have a lover or if you're in a relationship. This feels like your person also, this page of cups. Tell me about this page of cups spirit.
Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And the Magician. I do feel like this person is feeling guilty. It's. I think they switch also. I think some days they blame you for something. Or they make it seem like you're the one who pushed them away. And then other days they... They feel guilty about them being the ones that pushed you away. It's like some days you, you're you the one who pushed them away and other days they're the ones who pushed you away. You know, their mindset kind of switches here, I feel. Mm -hmm. What is the Knight of Wands about here, Spirit? Knight of Wands in reverse. First card we have is the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so yeah, so this is what I was saying here. Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands, it's like they switch. Their personality switches here. Or their energy switches very drastically. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, again, that's also that something that switches. It's like one day, one day they want to work things out with you. They want to figure out how to work things out with you, and another day they're kind of giving up. They're giving up and kind of surrendering. We have the star card. So in reality, what this person really wants is to be with you. They are wishing to to be back together with you. I think this person is not very honest with themselves i do feel like they lie to themselves or they deceive themselves they're not they're not um honest with their feelings they are they are waiting for you here with the three of wands this is a card about waiting for something mm -hmm. waiting for a new opportunity and the tower card is here They're waiting for things to turn around. They're waiting for things to do a, a 180. Hmm. They're not happy with the separation between you two. They're not happy with the breakup between you two. Whatever it might be that happened between you two. They want things to move in a favorable direction. Six of Cups, they do see you as, as a divine partner or as a as a soulmate or twin flame. But there is tension here with the Five of Swords. They do feel a lot of tension. They feel like there's a there's a hostility between you two of some kind. Ace of Ace of Swords is here, so maybe some words were said that were offensive. Some um, harsh words might have been exchanged between you two. They are juggling here with the two of pentacles. They're trying to decide if they want to give up on this or if they want to return back to you. But they do have feelings for you. And I feel like they try to deny it. But, um, you know, they do they do feel a strong connection with you and they they know that they mess things up here with the five of cups and i feel like like i said some on some days it's your fault and, and on on other days it's their fault again i feel like they switch okay let's take a look at um what are this person's intentions and desires with you let's take a deeper look at that okay all right, let me just clean up here. All right, spirit angels and guides, please show me what are this person's intentions and desires with Virgo, please.
All right, first card we have here is the strength, king of swords in reverse, six of cups in reverse, five of wands, temperance, queen of pentacles, death, hangman in reverse, ace of pentacles. Hmm. All right. Well, it's I think it's pretty clear here that this def this person definitely wants to have a reconciliation with you here. They have been resisting it though with the strength card. This is a card of resistance. Uh King of Swords in reverse. This is someone who is quiet, someone who's giving you this giving you the silent treatment. But the 6 of cups in reverse does show that they want to return back, they want to reconnect. They they are scared of the drama or of the conflict that might be provoked or that might resurface between you two. They feel like things are very much out of balance between you two and they wish that they could have stability with you with the queen of pentacles. They want to have stability. Um the death card, they might feel like things are over already between you two and it's too late. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles, they want a new beginning with you in a commitment. Um, or they want to get stable with you again. Um, but it's like they're scared that it's it might be too late. This is someone who fears that it might be too late already. Okay, let me go ahead and get um, a card from the uh, Twin Flame Soulmate deck. Since the Two of Cups did show show up earlier, um, let's see what messages your person would like to say to you from this deck. Spirit Angels and Guys, what messages would this person like to say to Virgo? Please show me. first message we have Virgo is our love was too intense for me to handle I needed to break away hmm. this makes sense with the reading let me repeat that our love was too intense for me to handle I needed to break away okay you were my sanctuary you were the only person I could confide in and I betrayed your trust. I let my ego get in our way. I couldn't let go of my pride. But you saw through me. You know the truth about me. I miss your beautiful smile and joyous laugh. They used to light up my world. All right, Virgos, those were the messages. So I hope this reading resonated with you. I hope it made sense to you um, and it helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up to my video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.